Back in the 1930s, a remarkable band of photographers scattered through the backyards and the city streets of this country, recording life as they saw it. Events big and small, mostly small. Their work is now the benchmark by which we measure those times. Those of us who do the same today on television news too often content ourselves with showing politicians getting on and off airplanes. Not much reflects how people actually live. The efforts of those long ago photographers have proven to be of immeasurable importance. Long after the film clips of politicians getting on and off railroad cars have crumbled in neglect. It takes a special vision to see ourselves reflected. I like that one. That was a take, Dan. Few people in Cabbage Town know his name. He just showed up one Sunday three years ago and has seldom missed a Sunday since. They call him simply the picture man. He is not the first photographer to come to Cabbage Town, but he is the first to give back something of himself. Yeah, that was taken when you were pregnant. Each Sunday, he passes out hundreds of prints of the pictures he has taken. I want the one of my mama. He has had no other public showing. I got a lot of pictures here for you. Look at you. Look at that. He pays for the prints himself. And I got some for your sister. They are photos of feeling. Look like we've been out drinking all night. Which all if day. you hadn't. <laughs> <laughs> Orion Catledge is partially blind. I have to really try to look. If I, if I see something where there is a potential picture, uh, I'll shoot a roll of film uh, just, just like that. Catledge has 7,000 negatives. Half are out of focus. Processing uh, a picture and uh, uh, seeing it uh, come out when I get through with the washing and uh, I can put it on this line and look at it, <clears throat> it's almost like, uh, it must be like a prospect of looking for gold. You brought life to those images. They have brought life to me, too. <laughs> I think these pictures, too, show lots of life. I mean, it's not look like going in a studio with a false background. It's real. I'm coming. Don't go away. Orion works with infinite patience, taking the pictures folks ask for, waiting for the ones he wants. Oh, that's the picture of the day right there. I don't have to take another one. That's the one I wanted. You're kind of like a kid in a candy store on something like I this. See They're grabbing at uh, every flavor. Out of my eyes, I must have seen two or three pictures that I wanted at the same time. Impossible to get, you know. And I'm going to one, and I'm looking around, and I'm seeing something over here, and I'm stopping, running, and I'm getting that, and I'm going back, hold it, wait a few minutes, and I'll come back and get you later. I must have taken pictures of 25 people there. This asphalt meadow in the shadow of modern Atlanta is a magnet for Orion Catledge. Oh, look at that. I got to get this. You getting tired? Want to stand up? No, that's fine. Cabbage Town was the start of the New South. Here, Southern business first spun Southern cotton and rebuilt from the ashes of Civil War. It is the last small town in this big city, and it is fading. This community will never vanish as long as I have these negatives. Uh, it'll be there. It takes a special vision for today. Bob Dotson, NBC News, Atlanta.